this is really cool. This is a brown tarantula, and depending where it's found, it can be known as the Texas brown or the Oklahoma brown tarantula. The body and legs are brown, but the hair sometimes on the legs or abdomen can be a black tint. Now the cephalothorax, which is the main body of the animal, which includes all the joints and sockets for the legs, where the abdomen connects, the eyes, the fangs, this area is usually a metallic color with a more of a bronze to copper finish to it. Tarantulas are a large arachnid, and as you can see the one in my hand here is a full-grown adult. The females are larger than the male and typically live a lot longer. Some have been recorded up to 25 years in captivity. The males rarely live longer than several months. It's, it's a very powerful predator and it's, it's not a true spider. It's in a group of animals called hairy megalomorphs. Now, it is an arachnid and it's very closely related to spiders. It still has the ability to spin silk, but it won't necessarily build webs to catch prey in, like a snare. It prefers to cruise around and if it runs into what would be prey, it will overpower that animal and eat it right there because they have a very powerful body for their size. Hairy megalomorphs like this tarantula here, their fangs go straight down like this and they fold up against their body. Now when they come over an animal, those fangs are straight down whatever prey they might encounter. They will eat pretty much anything that's smaller than them. This can include crickets, grasshoppers, June bugs, cockroaches. They've even been known to eat smaller lizards and young mice and rodents. Now the tarantula has many enemies as well that would like to make a meal out of it. This includes large birds, predatory mammals, um, especially rodents, and the most interesting of all, the tarantula hawk. Now this animal is a large wasp that will fly around in the desert looking for these guys cruising around. But they'll also even find burrows that these guys will live in and go in there looking for these animals. It'll sting the tarantula and the venom from the sting will immobilize the animal into an almost comatose state. The tarantula hawk then, being a large wasp, is able to carry the tarantula off. It'll drag it down into its own burrow and lay eggs on the body of the tarantula. And when they hatch, the tarantula is still immobilized and the young will feed off of the body of the still living tarantula without it able to do anything. It's a gruesome way to die, but that's the way that the tarantula hawks feed and nurture their young. Well, this is really cool. I mean, though they're kind of common out here, they're really neat to come across and really neat to capture. Though most people would think that these are scary or dangerous animals, as you can see, this one itself is very docile, and many of these brown tarantulas are able to be handled right out of the wild. Though the bite is unpleasant, it's usually not dangerous to people. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let this go and see what else we can find. Thanks for watching this featured creature. To find some amazing facts about this animal, go to WurchesWildlife.com. Please leave a comment and rate below. And we would love for you to subscribe.